everybody. Thank you for coming back to my channel. This is Abby with Rogue Pisces Tarot. I'm here to give you your Pisces daily reading. This can be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Signs of Pisces, wherever you have Pisces in your chart. You might be a Pisces. You might love a Pisces. You might be into a Pisces, be married to a Pisces, crush on a Pisces. Um, if you just want to get some information on what might be up with them, feel free to hang around and cross watch. Not everything will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. Again, time is fluid. Uh, gender can be fluid. Kings and queens don't really matter. There's no gender in tarot. So let's have some fun. Let's see what comes up for today. What's the energy for today, please? I'm feeling like that's supposed to be like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so six of swords. I don't take reversals. That's why you saw me flip that there. Okay, so six of swords victory. What's up? Today's energy. The six of swords is fire energy. So Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Um, and yeah, it just has to do with... Um, Victory can also be public recognition. You could be getting, it could be as much as fame, all right? You could maybe, even locally, maybe you'll say a blurb on the news or you'll, um, you know, get a, something on the newspaper. You might talk to someone who has some reach in some way. Maybe your tweet will go viral. Who knows? Um, but... It can also do with, um, like, I tend to see it also as overcoming conflict because the five of wands is a, is, a, is a card about conflict and competition, and then the six is about coming out victorious. So if you were surrounded by any kind of negativity, if there are people around you who are in a state of conflict, um, you could be rising above that today in your general energy. We have the Hermit. What's that? Okay. Wrapping up yesterday. The Hermit um, is about introspection. Uh, it's today's theme, so it might be about turning your back on the rest of... Um, like the Hermit sort of isolates himself so that he can gain... Uh, wisdom about what it is that he wants and wants to achieve. He takes his dreams with him up to his little mountain cave and ponders on them, right? His dreams, his star, his wishes, his goals. But he goes away um, so that he's able to think clearly and come into a true sense of self about who he is, who they are, and what they want. Um, so you could be getting asked to go inward, taking your victory but some sort of turning your back on, on some conflict. I'm also, just the visual of this, this defensiveness. This is the tomorrow position, but the way his back is turned towards um, the seven of wands, which is in a sort of defensive stance, it's popping out to me for some reason. Uh, your conflict today, we have a king of wands. King of wands can be, could be an authority figure, a boss, um, could be a person in your life who has this sort of fiery, generous, passionate energy who's maybe giving you a bit of a headache. What do we have here? Okay. Next we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is sort of a, there being a change something is changing and this is in the suggested course position so there could be a, a feeling of divine timing that something is changing in your life and you're not um you know you're not in control of it there's a feeling of this you know there are things that i can do but maybe you've set something in motion that is now taking over 
um, but we'll get more clarity as I go here. Um, you know what? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to clarify these first. So we have clarifying your, um, six of wands energy. This fire energy is this page of pentacles. So this could be some sort of offer, um, an offer or a new idea, something tangible having to do with money, assets, the material world, something practical, something that is solid. Um, so even if it is like a, an emotional offer of some kind, it would be in a practical way. So it wouldn't just be like, I really, I, I think I like you. It would be, <laughs> I like you and I want to go on a date with you. It's something tangible that would come out of it. Um, could be messages or uh, news from a business associate. Maybe you're getting a message from work about something. Maybe you're getting it like the victory and recognition is popping up to me is like maybe you're even going to hear something nice from your work that you're doing a good job. Okay, Hermit, we have been clarified by this beautiful chariot. I love the chariot in this deck. She's so gorgeous. Okay, this chariot is interesting to me because she's not moving. <laughs> Um, and like the hermit is kind of like that. Like there isn't really any motion depicted for her. This one always makes me feel of, she's sort of eyeing things up. And I feel like she's trying to read the situation and decide whether or not to move and which way to move. So I feel like there's with the hermit, a harnessing of the energy, energy of movement, energy of maybe brash decisions and moving forward quickly and pulling that in and figuring out, okay, so which course? Let's be more concrete here. Um, King of Wands. What's the King of Wands about, please? Okay, King of Wands in the challenge position is about the Ace of Swords. Um, so there could be some truth or some justice coming out. Communication also. Swords are a very communicative card. So you could be hearing from... Ooh. Okay. You could be hearing from a king of swords, a fire sign. Um, and there could be some sort of news that perhaps you like or don't like because swords can cut either way. They can help or they can harm. They can save lives and they can take lives. Um, so there could be some kind of truth that you find challenging either about this person or from this person. Wheel of Fortune, we have Nine of Wands, so fire energy. The Nine of Wands, um, our wounded warrior back again, Pisces. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Um, so having that feeling of being sort of battle worn and having had a lot of experience behind you, fought a lot of battles very well, but giving things one last push. Um, there being something kind of coming in that's changing fortunes around you and feeling out of your control. And maybe that's a little daunting. And so there's a feeling of like, all right. All right, fine, let's get up. Let's take care of this. In your um, wrapping up yesterday's energy, we have four of pentacles. Four of pentacles um, can be about um, like hyper focus on your money, holding on to something really tight or having trouble letting go of something. Um, could have to do, especially with like money, wealth, um, property, finances, those kinds of things. But if it has to do with a relationship, it could have to do with having trouble letting go of a feeling, an idea, a person, um, something like that in particular. And we have it being clarified by the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is about watching your ships come in and kind of watching the fruits of your labor start to materialize in front of you. So... To wrap up your previous energy, in the last few days, you could feel like you're starting to see the fruits of your labor come forward, but there's something 
about whatever this is bringing in that might be sort of triggering you to hold on to the past. Maybe the change in this feeling of inevitability and forward movement and it being sort of divinely guided and out of your control is a bit scary. Um, sometimes when we want change a lot of the time, but then when things start to change, we can get freaked out, right? Um, so I'm thinking for some of you, there could be this instinct to hold on to the comfort zone. But Three of Wands is about accepting the changes that are coming in that will get you out of the comfort zone. So you might have to accept that there's, if you've been trying to manifest change, if you've been trying to make things different, um, you might have to work on accepting what those changes bring. Ooh. Okay. What do we have in our key to tomorrow? So for to clarify our Seven of Wands, Okay, we have, okay, so Seven of Wands generally has to do with um, having the upper hand, having a better vantage point, having all of these different competing interests, passions, ideas, opinions. I tend to see this as opinions uh, coming at you and defending your point of view, feeling on the, de on the defense, but that you are standing your ground and that you have the upper hand because of your vantage point. Now um, that's being clarified by the Six of Cups, which has to do with nostalgia and emotions. Um, could be an old friend, could be a family member, could be an old relationship. And then also a sense of justice. Justice has to do with, it's our card of um, karmic rebalancing, of reminding us that there is a need for fairness, uh, for a just decision, a wise decision. Can also do with like, like court proceedings, if you're in a separation, um, and there are kids involved and there's like custody talks and you're feeling on the defense. I don't know why that just came to me, but keep a sense of justice and making a wise decision in mind. The Six of Cups often has to do also with kindness, um, with gifts, with heartfelt gifts. So maybe trying to keep that energy kind of flowing to help temper this defensiveness be just, be kind, be fair, and understand that if you do that, you'll maintain the upper hand and the better vantage point. Okay. Let's see what the Oracle has. We have one for Pisces, please. And then we get, okay. And then we get to be fair. Somebody wants to be fair. There's something about fairness going on in the Pisces realm right now. Let me get the book and read it. So I make sure I don't tell you the wrong thing. Okay. see if I can rest it here so you can see it. The essential meanings are balance, justice, the need to consider options, mutual benefit, and the laws of cause and effect. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time, they strike a balance. You move from being from stasis, you move from being from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Okay, the relationship message is, can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned and you will learn it if you remain open and objective, 
weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit for each part and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. Prosperity message is now is a time for even exchanges. Justice will prevail and you will be treated accordingly. In all your affairs, you will be able to negotiate fair settlements. Mutual gain is the gift to you and your partners and colleagues. This is also a good time to square your finances and take stock of how you're compensated for your work. This card signifies balance, justice, and negotiations. So remember that all things must be fairly, uh, fairly recompensed. Keep this as your truth, and so it will be. Okay, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me down below if this resonated with you at all. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. I bid you adieu. Bye now.